early founders are people that have either invested directly in the company with their own capital um, or potentially significant opportunity costs, but were there from the beginning and are steering the company with their decisions. They're effectively running the company. And by giving everybody a co-founder title, especially in the early days, they can certainly be part of a broader founding team, but giving them all co-founder titles, it essentially dilutes the value of the initial co-founders. It does so on multiple levels. Number one, it sets a precedent. So you might have had an early engineer, early employee, and then you hire later uh, a CTO and give them a co-founder title, or you hire a head of marketing and give them a co-founder title. It's really a slap in the face of the early employee who was there from the beginning. So it immediately strains your culture and sets a bad precedent. And that can have a lot of unintended consequences down the road as that company scales, as those employees stay on board. Number two, as that company becomes successful and grows, everybody is, is claiming credit. If a company fails, nobody says they're involved in the company. And so that can, you've seen that play out with a number of startups where everybody claims they were a co-founder of a company because you know, success has many hands in the cookie jar. The other thing uh, that it ends up doing is it disperses decision-making in a way where you don't actually know where the buck actually stops. The, typically, the founders and the CEO of the company control the final decisions, especially when it comes to purse strings of the company and spending money. And if everybody thinks they're a co-founder, they think they control decisions, and sometimes you can lead to conflict on the management team. So I think the cultural implications are significant, and I've seen this happen with companies that have, for example, tried to get into an accelerator program that requires a CTO co-founder. And uh, their definition is that CTO has to own at least 10% of the company in the form of equity. But if that company's been up and running for two years with a tech lead and recently hired a CTO and has to give them 10% of the company, and that CTO that they're hiring is getting a co-founder title in addition to a salary and, a, and that equity package and hasn't invested in the company, you're essentially artificially structuring a co-founder for the purpose of getting into an accelerator program. Uh, I think that's a myopic way of approaching the market and letting the tail wag the dog instead of actually designing a business that's optimized for success and recognizing whether that accelerator or startup program is well suited to the needs of the business. You should hire people based on their talent and their appropriate fit in the company, not slot everyone in as a co-founder essentially because you can't attract them based on the merit of the opportunity itself and the appropriate compensation and you require to give them that career currency simply because that's what it takes to bring them over the line.